Some people might think that I don't have a conscience. That it's all about the money. Well, that's never been true. Before I do a job, I always ask why. You have to keep a sense of balance. It's a terrible thing what I do. And it's easy to forget that. To think that one more doesn't make any difference. But it does. And the day it does is the day you've lost your soul. You stepped off the ledge, into the abyss. Well then it's only a matter of time till you hit the ground. And hell has a very hard floor. So there's got to be a reason. There's consequences. For every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. The universe doesn't make any exceptions. So try to make sure you're pushing in the right direction. Or the universe will push back. I'm not saying that what I'm doing is right. I'll leave that argument to the philosophers. I only know that some people, they just need killing. Mr. Vogel, it's your first appointment this morning. Ah, uh, it's the Dutch thing. Is there anything you'd like? Well, uh, yeah, same as usual. Uh, what time does this fucker do? A few minutes. He's on his way. Uh, good. I've got my daughter visiting. I don't like this kind of shit happening when she's around. I mean, it could be all nice and civil, or maybe we're going to have to uh, play bad. Either way, let's make a point. If he's gonna make one. It's one man. Well, it depends on the man, doesn't it? I mean, hey, 
the Steiner, this meeting is a courtesy. If he doesn't check out, I want you to kill this fucker slowly, painfully, okay? And I want this motherfucker found. I'm gonna make it a point. If he's gonna make a point, then I'm gonna make a goddamn point. I don't want any misunderstandings with his employer, okay? Dad? Hey, come. Boy, you look great. Aw, thanks, you like it? Yeah. I love the dress. Mm, well, you smell great. Oh, thank you. You ready for lunch? Honey, I've been ready for lunch for hours now. Damn. Don't I look ready? Hmm? Morning, Steiner. Hello, Mom. Okay, let's go. I got a one little thing I got to take care of, and then I'll catch you all. Why don't you and uh, your boyfriend there go have a drink on me, and I'll be right out. I promise. Okay? Dad. Okay, five minutes. Yeah, four minutes. Four and a half minutes. Right, I've got some news to tell you, but at lunch, when it gets there, okay? You got it. Okay. Come on. Cool. Are you still new? What do you think? He's a little scary. Uh, I think well, I'll go away by myself, yeah. Don't tell him that. He'll ask for more money. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> right, see, see you in five minutes, right. yeah? Cool. You're so popular. Hmm? He's coming in now. stand if you don't mind. Oh, man, I don't give a fuck what you'd rather just sit. Listen, I'm seeing you today because because uh, your employer asked me to indulge him, so I am. I already gave him the answer on this. The answer is no. So unless you've got something, some kind of business you'd like to discuss with me, then just, sorry, this is going to be a very short meeting. You got a name? Mr. Bradley. Mr. Bradley. Well, Bradley, I'm not a I'm not a very patient man, and uh, as the saying goes, if I gotta pull a few teeth to get some answers, and you understand me, right? And I'm gonna have to do what I gotta do, and uh, let me just get straight to the fucking point. Why the fuck are you here? You know why I'm here. The disc. The disc that was inconveniently mislaid is now in your possession. Doesn't belong to you. I wouldn't sell it to you. It's not yours to sell. Hmm? It's not yours to sell. It's my safe. It's my house that makes it mine. <laughs> no, it doesn't. And that's why I'm here to give you an opportunity to return it. To return it. Why? Because you came in all dressed up and asked so nicely. Sorry, son, but this meeting's over. I have asked nicely. I'm not going to again. Believe me, it's in your best interest to just hand it over to me now. Jesus, Bradley, if you came in here and you asked me nicely, bend over, put it up your ass, and I'd still tell you no. Come on, man. Oh, 
glad that you didn't have to get uh, physical here. The fact remains that the disc is in my safe, and if you kill me, you'll have to have a small bomb dump in that fucking safe. And I don't see one on you, Bradley. So you're gonna have to kill me because I'm not gonna open it. So it looks like we're at a crossroads here. I'm not gonna kill just you. Bradley, yes, uh, to tell you the truth, I do know of you. And I know you won't do it. Oh, sure, you'll kill me, but you ain't gonna go for the girl. Not a guy like you. I know that. You're full of shit, you're bluffing. Are you willing to take that chance with your daughter's life? Then you're gonna die, not knowing if that gamble paid off. Listen, man, I don't believe you, but, uh, no, man, that's not one gamble I'm willing to take. Uh, you don't even know what the fuck's on that disc, do you? Just take the uh, roast pork and beans sprouts, please. Okay. And some steam rice. You like a drink as well? Yeah, I'll take a green tea, please. Okay. Ten pounds. Thank you. I shall see you. You'll take a few minutes. to live here. Oh, your food's ready. That's your food. Thank you. What is this? That's all there is. Oh, it's cold. It's laziness. It's all Sergei. I want a roof over my head and cocoa and cupcakes, but I don't want to work for it. This is not how we do things. This is bad performance. I may have to consult with my HR manager here. No, Sergei. She tell you the you truth. You shut up. This is meeting with me and her. Management, an employee. Ah. You are in my office. Door is closed. You are outside. But it's cold. You see? That's what we call official warning. 
It follows vertebral one. Can I help you? Did you call catering? Don't mind, do you? This is shit food. I'm not in the mood for this chinky shit, though. You know what I'm like. No? Burger with fries. You don't have anything like that, do you? How about you get lunch? We call it expenses. Very generous. Lunch all round. Now go. You're more afraid of my employer than he is of you. He just wants the disc. And you're right. I wouldn't have killed your daughter.
my dinner. I'm at the Common Inn on Greystone Drive. We need help here. What's the nature of the emergency? Look, I need an ambulance right away. Sorry, can you repeat? Wait! There's an ambulance on the way. She'll be fine. But I can't be here. I cannot be here when the police come. Then go. Go where? Look, you will not help me before. Please. Looks like somebody was nappy with a service. How many dead? Eight, Gov. Clean upstairs. <clears throat> Shit. It gets worse. Whoever did this really didn't like him. Well, not that I did myself. Still. What goes around comes around. Hey, Sergey. I don't know who did it. Nope. Not a customer. They said I'd never seen him before. Mm. Well, I have a feeling she did. All right, look. Usual drill. All right. So get a full description. The rig for CCTV. Yeah. I bet the punters didn't know about this. Jesus. That's our man. All right, look, get this issued, all right? But not to the press just yet, all right? Not till I know what's going on. This didn't happen because of a bad blowjob. And find out who that is. Thank you for what you did. I know every girl in LA will be traumatized for the rest of her life, but thank you. These bastards deserve it. Every bullet. What did you see on your mouth? I didn't. Okay. Can I ask you what is your story? You can ask. But I will not get answer. One that you like. Mm, well, this is not the end of it, you know? They won't let you just do that and walk away. Yeah, I know. I can help. I know a little bit about them, but they do. If you want my help, you need to tell me everything you know. I need for you to help me find my sister, Jessica. I have not seen her for more than one year. What happened to her? I don't know. You think she managed to get out, find her way home? No, she get put to another place, like you just seen. We both end up meet. I'm Anna. 
by the way. Look, if she's alive. She's alive! She's alive. Then I'll find her. Why we stop? I need to make a phone call. Unless you want to sleep in the car tonight. Oh, so you pull over because you don't want to break the law by calling while driving? It seems a lone unarmed male entered a building, somehow overpowered and then killed the gang of heavily armed criminals who we understand were involved in the illegal trafficking of women. Hello. I need a safe house. I know. I'm just watching the news. I was surprised to see you're back in business. I'm not. Charity work? It's been a while. You've gotten sentimental. Can you help me or not? Can I help? 423 Eastwood Walk. Southeast. Combination of problems. We miss you badly. Now that you're back from vacation, we'll be in touch. So, who was that? My dad. How is he? Bradley's active again. Location 5. I'll rent your wake-up call. Upstairs, you can relax. You might find some more clothes in there. Mm. Um, take a shower, whatever you gotta do. I'm gonna I take, take the... bath. I'll check the kitchen. See if there's anything to eat. Hello, Mr. Bradley. Hello, Mr. Something. Who are you? What do you do? I cook. Badly, but go ahead and eat. Mm. This is good. It is old family recipe. I don't have a family. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's a long time ago. What about your family? Jessica. Jessica and I were very close. I was supposed to take care of her. Because I am her big sister. And I could not do it. It's okay. Try to eat. Get your strength back. What did Jessica look like? I can't make sure. I get it. Jessica? That's 
Jessica. Spoke to our man on the inside, and from what I'm hearing from the girls, it was one man. One man. One man. Who the hell was it? No idea. We can't even get a hold of the surveillance till tomorrow morning after it's bagged and stashed. Nobody even ever seen him before, not one or all recognized him. Well, somebody who could do something like that all on their own can't be too hard to find. What I'm saying is somebody who can wipe out everybody like that by themselves, it kind of narrows it down a little bit, right? We would know somebody like that. Not necessarily. People like that are very dangerous. Not born that way. Except in my case, <laughs> they are created. And you never hear anything about them because everyone they ever met is gone. Guy fucking walks in, tears the place up, makes a phone call and leaves his fucking, that's nuts. He, he, girls could be talking to anybody. You have no idea what kind of freak shows we get through that place. Nice <laughs> Crazy hat. What? My grandfather. Fought at arm, American Airborne. Fought against the SS division. Called themselves the Crazy Hats. I don't know how to say it in German, but uh, they were called that by their own side. Soldiers that lost their families and lost everything. They wear a certain kind of uniform and a hat so they'd be shot as soon as they put their hands up. My grandfather says the crowds were pretty tough and they fought. But in the end, they would rather live than die. These other characters, I guess they... thought it was a suicide mission. They wanted to die for what they believed in. And the whole thing was a game. Maybe that's what we're up against. Well, if that's the case, then... Someone has lost control of a pretty serious piece of ordinance. We're better off just walking away, taking the hit, and let, letting somebody else worry about this. Well, we're gonna have to get some kind of photo ID on the cat, because you know what? It's the only way anybody's gonna be able to do anything to find a way to look We're gonna find. have it by daybreak. Right? Let's hang out here. 
Can you tell me about Jessica? Did you pick anything up from your captors, from the girls you were stuck there with? We used to live together in a small flat provided by the agency. <clears throat> when one girl moved out, the next move in like a production line. So when I get put to full time, as they call it, then Jessica get take to a place called uh, the schoolhouse. But I don't know where that is. I need for you to find out. This agency. What was it called? Capital Promotions. What branch did you work at? Who was your agent? Paul Hamilton. He worked out of a small office there. So, what is your plan? You just go in there and say, uh, where is Jessica? Something like that. To have a word. Do you have an appointment? No, I don't. Um, it's concerning Jessica and Anna Peel. I'm their brother. Uh, Mr. Hamilton was their agent. I was just wondering if he could shed some light on their whereabouts. Okay, take a seat, please. Mr. Peel, 
I'm Paul Hamilton. It's a pleasure. Come in. Take a seat. How are you today? Well, actually, it's been a full day already. Well, I know how that goes. So what can I do for you? Rachel mentioned something about Anna? Yes, well, you used to be Anna's agent and Jessica's too, I believe. So I was hoping you could tell me exactly where Jessica Peel is right now. Well, I'm sorry, but we no longer represent Anna. She's no longer with us. She was with us for a few months and then she left, got a new job and a new agent. It happens. She worked her notice, was paid, and I haven't heard from her since. I think you're misunderstanding me, Paul. Can't call you Paul, right? Huh? I know where Anna is. She's sitting in a car just down the road at the moment. Yeah, that's right. I took her out of that cesspit you had her in. I want to know where Jessica Peel is. I want to know where the schoolhouse is and if she's there right now. I don't know who you think you are, son, but you've got the wrong fucking guy. You're coming into my office, asking me about some fucking slapper, and you already know where she is. Are you taking the piss? Get the fuck out of my office before I lose my temper. You're pulling a fucking shooter on me? You're gonna have to be prepared to back it up, son, if you're gonna pull something like that. Who do you think you are, Billy the fucking kid? I can assure you, I'm a bit better at this sort of thing than you fucking are. Get the fuck out of my office. Take your fucking pea shooter with you. Fuck. Fucking fuck. Sit down. Fuck. Tell me where the schoolhouse is. I don't know. I don't know. Tell me where Jessica Peel is. Tell me where ah. Jessica is. Ah, Western Park House. Western Park House. Try there. That's where they keep the girl. That's what you gotta tell me. You sell women. Children into slavery. They disappear, never to be seen again. Never see their families, never see their homes. Well, you make me sick. Oh. Oh. So I'll oh. tell you what. I don't have time to do this slowly, so I'm just gonna make it painful. Oh. Actually got quite choked up. Have a good day. Western Park House. How did you find that out? I asked him. More on that later. Now over to the Got it. I'm out. Let me go inside, get some rest. I'm gonna check out Western Park House. Don't open this door for anyone. Again? I don't know. Excuse me. Yeah. Ah. That's fucked up. Yeah. 
Well, you can spare me the details. All right. Okay, all right. Thanks. Hamilton just got off. What? Yeah. Right in his own office. With his secretary sitting right outside. I just sauntered in a couple minutes later, just walked out. Found Hamilton a few hours later with his neck stretched out like a Christmas turkey. Christ. Yeah, they said he bit off his own tongue. Same story. Big dude. I guess he probably will hit us again. Hello? Why? You're a risk, Bradley. You went off the radar after your last job for us. We couldn't deal with collateral damage. You couldn't be relied upon. You became an unknown. We don't like unknowns. We don't like random events. Job was completed. You got the requested goods. Yeah, but you don't just disappear like you did, Bradley. We looked, and we couldn't find you. We never had that happen before, and that worried us. Who knew what you might be doing? You developed a conscience on us, buddy. You became a liability. You know how this is going to end, don't you? Yes, I do. One of us is going to die. Contact. Where? East London, Stratton Street, Building 51. Dispatch Team 2. Mama? Who says? Anichka. Anichka, Anichka, where are you, dear? Where are you? Where are you? I promise. My clothes will be home soon. When will you be? When? When? Come on, come on. Where are you? I love you, love you. Ох, как я соскучилась. Приезжайте скорее, приезжайте. Я тебя люблю, мама. I'm scared. I want to go home. You want to help your sister, don't you? Yes. And you want to see your mummy again, don't you? Yes. Well, then this is the way to do that. If you don't, then I don't know how long it'll be till you can go home. Both you and your sister. And it'll be your fault. No! Then are you going to be a good girl? Good. Do not be so bad. They're nice people you're getting to meet. Bet they've bought you a present. All we have to do is be nice to them. Like in those photos you showed me? Yes. Don't be scared. Everyone's scared first time, but there's no need. It's just fun. It's just grown-up games you're getting to play. Okay? Okay. Now you go with Sarah. She's your friend. She'll look after you. Okay, honey? Right. Hurry up. Get yourselves ready. We have lots of guests tonight, so I expect best behaviour from all of you. Okay? Come on, bitches, move it. Now. Now! Oh. Come with me.
Primary target acquired. Stand down. Say again. You are to stand down. Do not engage. Confirm. Confirmed. Withdraw to surveillance station. I want him rattled, thinking emotionally instead of logically. You got me? What do we have on the guy killed in Kensington, uh, Paul Hamilton? Nothing that I'm aware of. It's a local promoter, why? Well, the woman that went missing last night, you know, the one that took off with a perp, well, she's down as having worked for Hamilton. She disappears and then next turns up working in a knocking shop. That's not the first story you've heard like that. Well, maybe not. But her sister went off the map at the same time. Just a kid, too. I mean, Peel was living in the flats above with the other girls. No mention of a kid. What are you thinking? that the girl is still in London and that the perp is looking for her. Police are on their way. It's gonna be fine. Where is she? Where's Jessica Peel? I don't. Jessica. Jessica. She's not with us now. She was bought. Bought? A gentleman of ours. He liked her. He bought her. She's with him now. Who is he? Where are they? Jacob Andres. Amsterdam. Andres Diamond? The merchant? would walk. All right. What do you want to talk about? I prefer to meet face to face. I'm at Western Park House. There's something here I think you'd like to see. And what have you done? Just made a small part of the world a better place to live. Look, I'm not going to be here long, so you better hurry. Sad man. Western Park House. Come on. Got hit by your man Bradley. All right? 
completely destroyed. We're gonna get a fuckload of heat for that, all right? Leave that to me. Sure. I guess you don't know who's on the guest list, do you? Yes, I do. And I know they'll be most grateful to a friend who can help them. What about this uh, Bradley? Find him. This guy we're looking for, he goes by the name of Bradley. We better find him, fast. I think we got it covered, boss. How's that? When he hit the schoolhouse, he took one of the comms units off of one of our security guys. They're all kitted out with a tracking system so we can locate him in case of an emergency, and we think Bradley's got it with him, so we know exactly where he is. Isn't that clever? Mm -hmm. I've got the best guys, ex-military. Well, they damn well better be, because they're working for the executive, too. He wants him dead. Shit. Sh I mean, this, no, this is a whole different fucking ball of wax. I don't deal with anything the executive has his hand in. I don't blame you. I don't trust him either, okay? Yeah, we're all liable to end up dead. Maybe so. He's a rotten son of a bitch. But he wants him dead as much as you and I. Well, who's Bradley to the executive? I wish I knew the answer to that. I don't think they're exchanging any Christmas cards. We're going on a goddamn fishing trip together. The executive has something to do with this. That means that this is about more than just a guy with a thing for chicks and a sob story. I say we get out. I don't think we have much of a choice. That's the order. He wants it done. OK? I don't like it. That's the way it is. You and him go way back, don't you? Are you gonna tell me the story or you want me to, to leave it up to my imagination? You don't have a sick enough imagination. <laughs> yes, I do. It, a million years ago when I was joining the force and trying to pay my way through college, I met the executive. He told me I could be a model. So, next thing you know, I'm swinging around the pole gacked out on some shit, I don't even know what the fuck it was. Crawling around naked on the floor for dollar bills, begging for more of the fucking shit. I'm lucky to be alive. I know who the executive is. All right, well, that's a good story. We need to get our people together and just kill him. Kill that motherfucker. This morning, police raided the largest pedophile network discovered in London in recent years. Many prominent business people and both men and women were arrested. Authorities refused to say how many children were involved, but the number was substantial. Police quashed rumors of a vigilante tip-off or that any of those arrested were injured, despite a number of ambulances seen at the scene. Police assure that this is strictly procedure. We'll be bringing you more of that story as it unfolds later.
that was another royal fuck up. You and your undefeatable mercenaries and the commandos and paratroopers and whoever the fuck else showed up. What are you supposed to do? They were fucking. Sana, sorry, but could I have a word? Now's not a good time, Sally, thanks. Sana. What? Okay, just stay in, Sally. I need an advance. I can't just do that. Just a week, just to, just to cover a few bills. I need rent money. I'm out if I miss another week. You know I can't give you an advance, Sally. But look, if you're a beautiful girl, you should be a model, I keep telling you. Come to one of our red dress parties. We need a girl, we lost somebody last week, you would be perfect. Heather is sex and bold. It's a model party. Are you? I mean, there are models, there are actresses, there are producers, and lots of wealthy, powerful men. You know, you could get discovered. Could be your lucky day. I mean, you've got what it takes. You know, you just flash a smile. And you could make a lot of money. It's not. It's not sketchy. How sketchy is 2K, huh? For a red dress, some shoes, get a sexy outfit like you're going on a date, get yourself a Gucci. You take this, you show up. Talent. You could go far, kid. Far, far away. What are you, recruiting now? Is that it? I've still got a business to run. We lost a girl last week. You really think now's the best time for that? We have more important things to talk about. All right, fine. Are you going to tell me about the girl? What? Some politician got overzealous with his dominance game, and the girl ended up in ICU. <laughs> you know, you know what I really like about you? What? Absolutely nothing. Doors. Take a lift. Great. Thank you very much.
I was wondering when you were going to arrive. Then you know why I'm here. Executive. No. I'm not with the executive. Aren't you? I'm here for the girl. If that's what you believe. No games. I'm here for Jessica Peel. Never heard of her. Don't make me ask you again. You may not believe this, but you do work for the executive. You do as I ask. Tell me where she is, and I'll make this quick. Otherwise, I'm going to take you apart piece by piece, and you don't want to die like that. You'll be killing an innocent man. You lie. No, the executive lies. They mix truth with deception. Black is white, and white is black. And gray laps and overflows. With every piece of information they give you, and that you may think you're getting from them. Many men have pleaded for their lives with me. This is nothing more than that. And how many of those men knew who was sending their executioner? And how many of those men knew the executive? And they were allowed to live like yourself. What did they tell you? That I'm holding the key to some precious information that you would kill for and kill and kill again until you obtained it. I'm sure you believe your mission is just. You're obviously very good at what you do and you would never kill a man for no reason. And that's why they gave you a reason. They fed you a reason. And now you're doing exactly what they want you to do. I've never killed anyone who wasn't guilty of the sentence I gave them. Of course. Truth with lie. Lie with truth. So how do you know all this? Because I used to be a pawn for them, just like you are now. And I worked for them quite willingly. Until I asked a question, and once you start asking questions, well, then your time is limited, or you have less time. Because every job for the executive is temporary. So what exactly did you do? What does that matter? They needed to keep me alive, and they found a way to ensure that. But you're a widower. Your daughter's tutored abroad. They killed your wife. They're holding your daughter. <sighs> Maybe you should have a seat. This is the girl I came here for. Beautiful. And the school? You know of the school? Oh, yes. I know of many such places. They're all fronts. They use them to extort and blackmail people. Every room has a camera and a microphone, completely covered. Then why would they have me close it down? There was a woman there. She gave me your name. And they tried to kill me. But they couldn't. Circumstances changed. They still want you killed. But events created a new opportunity. And the woman who mentioned my name? She would have been told that I was the reason the girl was moved. They all would have been told that. Because no one had any idea who you would interrogate. And as to why they wanted you to close that place down. Well, because you're a pawn in a, the executive chess game. A sacrifice for a greater strategy. Maybe they wanted some people silenced. Maybe they wanted some people in their pocket. I don't know. But what I do know, unfortunately, is whatever business of theirs you disrupt, they have many others to go to. But the girl, 
She's real. Oh yeah, she's real. They're all real. They're merely actors on a stage that the executive created. I still need to find her. She could be anywhere, my friend. I made a promise. Then you need to get the executive to reveal where the girl is. Sure. But how do I do that? By getting the girl to lead you to the place that the executive wants you to be. That's the next step after killing me. But I broke that plan. Yes, you did. But they don't need to know that. Bradley's activated his phone again. Of course he has. He wants us to know exactly where he is. Bravo, Bradley. Excellent work. Andreas was a tricky shot. I know. Because we considered it. This ends now. Really? Aborting the mission? You have uncompleted objectives, Bradley. This isn't like you. Andreas seemed to think that you sent me. Tried to make a deal for his life. Gave me some data. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Not as interesting as it'll be when I make a dozen coppers and send them to every newspaper and police agency. Well, that would be a pity. A pity for Andreas' daughter, for Anne's sister. Never met him. They mean nothing to me. Come, come, Bradley. That little rampage you just tore across two cities. Was all that just a slap for a cheap whore? Look, we both hold something that each of us wants. It would save us both a lot of time and effort to simply exchange. How do I know I can trust you? You don't. How do I know you won't copy and distribute that information? We're just going to have to trust each other, good buddy. Simple as that. I'll need proof before I show up anywhere. So will I. But close diamond merchant Jacob Andreas was found dead this evening on the floor of his hotel suite. Police are refusing to confirm details, but we understand this to be a murder investigation. And unconfirmed reports of Andreas being found apparently slain on the floor of his apartment. They'll be waiting for you this time. They're not going to make the same mistake twice. If I may, what got you into all this? Like you said, does it matter? It does if the executive has something they can use against you. I've seen, I've done some pretty terrible things in my life. I always believed it was for a just cause so I could live with it. Now when I look in the mirror, all I see is just another murderer. You danced with the devil, my friend. I can make right the things I've done wrong. Maybe I can make some atonement and do some good. This is your penance. That was your weakness. That's what the executive will hold against you. If there was any other way. There is no other way. They have my daughter and the girl you're looking for. I'm asking you to bring both of them back. Just means more death. Remember, my friend, death himself is an angel. Thou hast seen my sin. Now judge thou my cause. I'm gonna need some supplies. My contact has already taken care of that. What seems to be the trouble? What's the trouble? One of your guys has introduced a cut into my take-home salary. That's the trouble. I mean, my monthly bonus got cancelled. 
along with Sergei and his boss. Well, we're most grateful for your assistance. This is a one-off. On a monthly retainer. A retainer? We only pay for services rendered. Yeah, and my services are rendered when asked for. And if you want it to stay that way, then that's how it works. Well, unfortunately, that's not how we work. Now, we put you in touch with the Eastern Europeans. If you stay patient, we'll supply a new client. Yeah. Oh, that's the trouble with patience, isn't it? You can't catch it in at the bank. <laughs> you know, I played this just the way you wanted it. And it netted me absolutely nothing. So the way I see it, it's down to you to cover my losses. Cover your losses? Hmm. Brooks, have you ever heard the story of the magic bars, the story of the genie in the bottle? Well, the most telling Ginny grants three wishes and only three wishes, and then poof, she vanishes. In the Chinese version, however, the genie sticks around. She warns people of the limit of three wishes, but people, people being people, they just can't help themselves. They always go for that fourth wish. Except, fourth wish is greed. It undoes all the other wishes. And the wisher goes straight to hell. Proof. Do you have access to the net? Yeah. It means nothing. This could have been recorded any time. Are you reassured now, Bradley? Do we have a deal? Yeah. Yeah, we've got a deal. Six more now. Eight p.m. No. No. Do you think you're in a position to bargain? I'm in a position to know better than to walk through a door you're holding open for me. Then what do you suggest? An alternative. And you expect me to walk through a door that you were holding open? Halfway. You know where I am, I know where you are. So, halfway between the two. That's acceptable. 22 Bethlehem. Very well. Half an hour. outside. Bradley, we're breaking off now. So.
assuming backup position. Copy that. Good luck. So, we're all here. Bradley. It's something personal, but let's keep this professional and everyone walks out of here. Fuck with me, and it doesn't just end with you. We'll see you soon, Bradley. As you can see, I kept my side of the bargain. Where are the girls? They were getting a lot of hand. They're out back. I'm curious. How do you intend to do this? Very simple. All you gotta do is walk over here and take this out of my hand.
I think now, Bradley, we played a little game, but now the final was blown and you have lost. So I claim my prize, the stick. Like I told you, you just gotta walk over here and take it. <laughs> I'm afraid I've never been a very good sportsman. Give it to me. Why the girl in London? Bad luck. House sweep, neutralized occupants, you know the drill. If you'd been home instead of galloping around on your white horse, she'd still be alive. But you always were a sucker for a sob story. It wasn't her fault you left that phone. Another mistake of yours. Another person who dies. So you were behind all of that? The women, the children, everything. Oh, please. Again with a naive sentiment. The world's a bad place, little buddy. Bad things happen. We didn't create that playground. They spring up on their own without us. Admittedly, we find them of use. But we're more occasional custodians than proprietors. Custodians? Yeah. These places have their uses, so we use them. Just like we used you. I come at a high price. <laughs> this? Just a mere bagatelle. Nothing we can't make up. Now. The data. But you can't make up the damage. It'll do if the information on this stick gets out. No. But I appear to have the problem under control. Wear a nice suit. Elegant speech. Just dressing on another street scumbag. Silver paint on shit. Sticks and stones and all that, Brad. But bullets, they hurt you sadly more now than Dana. All this. For this. It's a pity, Bradley. You could have gone so far. <sighs> Fuck you. <laughs> Executive's dead, huh? Finally caught up with his taste in suits. And that prick, Bradley. Gone ghost. Totally off the radar. Did this before. He doesn't want found and he won't be. But he doesn't care. Leave him be. And he'll leave you be. Well, that's just it. I can't leave him be. I got a dead daughter. And I'm not gonna be okay with anything. Until I'm standing over that motherfucker pissing down his eye socket. Just got one thing to say. Young girls that love to play, they'll be the end of me. They like to make you the nice guy, and then they go and act surprised when they see what's on your mind. I hear you, you're talking, let's see what's underneath them clothes. Wait till I get you all alone. You're Till I get you all alone Damn girl It's on I can't wait Got a game I'd like to play Cause what you want is what you say Now there's no one left to blame mm -hmm. So what you wanna do I'm happy next to you Cause baby we ain't nearly through Heart beating every time I hold you close. Wait till I get you all alone. You're going down. Just wait till I get you all alone. Damn girl, it's on. I can't wait. Hey, hey. To the floor Hey, hey Hey, hey, hey. Hope you know 
know what you're looking for. Hey, hey, hey. Till I get you all alone You're going down Just wait Till I get you all alone Damn girl It's on I can't wait Girl you moving to NASCAR I'm about to be ghost like Caspar Psych, I'm just playing. I see it clear and I hear what your body's saying. So let me start it up and see where this thing goes. Oh, auto pilot, it, hit it to your front door. Got your body screaming, baby, give me, give me more. Got you all alone and I'm working like a troll. Clothes come off, I come in. You get off and I get in. Can't wait till I get you all alone. You're Till I get you all alone Damn.